Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie. Today I have a really exciting video to share with you guys. It's going to be all about lash serums. I'm going to be reviewing the Grande Lash MD serum that I bought a couple months ago. I've been testing it out and I'm really excited to share with you the results. We're going to do pros, cons, a quick little demo also. So if you're interested in watching, let's go ahead and get started. So I used to have lash extensions and I would get them done every two to three weeks. I did that for two years. They were amazing in the beginning, but then I started to notice that they just weren't getting the full length and the volume that I wanted and I didn't do anything different. I got the same length and thickness for my extensions for two years, but for some reason they just started drooping and I think it's because of all the weight that I was putting on my lashes. Um, I got the volume set too, which was even heavier. And so I decided just to take a break from them, take them off for a little bit. And I think it's a good idea to just take a break so that your lashes can breathe. It's kind of like not wearing makeup for a day so that your skin can just breathe and recover. And when I took them off, I could truly see how brittle and damaged they were. So I decided, you know what, I need to like do something about this because I like there was pretty much nothing left on my lashes. The product actually retails for $65. It is a three month supply and I've been going on three and a half months so far and I still have product left. So you're definitely getting your money's worth and I use it every single night. I used to pay $75 for a lash extension fill every two to three weeks, which was getting too expensive. And I mean, no brainer, you're definitely getting a much better deal. So let's talk about what it claims to do. It claims to promote healthier, longer, thicker looking lashes in just four to six weeks with the full results in three months. It is a three month supply for each tube and I really do think that you do have to use it for a full three months in order to see the results. So here's why. It's because your lashes have a life cycle and each strand has its own cycle. If you think about it, if all your lashes are in the same cycle, then they would all be falling out at the same time and then growing back at the same time, which wouldn't make any sense and that would be really horrible too. The first phase is anagen, also known as the growth phase. This phase lasts about 30 to 45 days and this is where your lashes will grow up to a certain point based on your genetics. This is where the serum comes in and it kicks it up a notch or two. So it's going to make your lashes grow even longer to its fullest potential. The second phase is catalgen, also known as the transition phase. This phase lasts about two to three weeks. So when your lashes grow up to that certain length, it pretty much just stays there until it's ready to go to the third phase. So the third phase is called telogen. That's the resting phase. This lasts about 90 days at least. So it is gonna be the longest of all the phases. And in this phase, your lashes will start to shred, which then will start the growth phase all over again. So the serum not only helps the growth phase, but it also helps the resting phase because your lashes will stay at that long length for a longer period of time. So now you guys understand why you have to use it for three months in order to see the full results. It really depends on what phase your lashes are in because some might be in the growth phase, some might be in the transition or the resting phase. And so you do have to use it every single night religiously for three months in order to see the full results. So now let me show you a demo of how I apply the serum and what the brush looks like. The brush itself is very thin and precise, so you're going to get a nice clean line when applying. First, you want to make sure that your eye area is clean so there should be no product on your eyelid. I apply it immediately after I wash my face at night. You're supposed to apply it like how you would with a liquid liner, so directly on the skin that's closest to your lashes. You're not supposed to apply any product on your actual lashes. I prefer starting with my outer half and then finishing the inner half. Now for this video, I'm applying it in the morning, but I normally would only apply it at night. Just remember to let it dry completely before applying anything on top. I also don't double dip because I feel like there's enough product on the brush for both eyes. You have to be consistent and apply it every single night, but then after three months, you can just apply it every other night. So let's finally talk about the pros. Obviously the number one benefit is that you're gonna get healthier, longer looking lashes. And I think this stuff is amazing. The fact that it can grow your natural lashes is just life-changing. I mean, I don't have long lashes to begin with. Let's be honest, Asians don't really have long lashes. Our lashes are really short and sparse and straight and they're almost non-existent so i actually had someone come up to me asking if these are my real lashes which was really flattering because 
I've never had that as before and it's just you know it's just really nice to know that these are my natural lashes and they're not lash extensions I don't have anything against lash extensions I love them I did them for two years and I would probably still get them again honestly but only for special occasions or if I'm going on a trip another benefit is that it is cruelty free and safe to use while having lash extensions I feel like if I had been using this product while I was doing my lash extensions they would have definitely held up a lot better so if you do have extensions I recommend using a serum so that it sort of balances it out and it will give strength to your lashes now on to the negatives so there are a couple side effects that did happen to me i think it's really important to share these with you guys because if you are considering on buying this product you need to know the risks involved and if you do have these side effects to know how to treat it and how to prevent it so the first thing that I saw was that the skin around my eyes became darker. Now that didn't really bother me because I'm used to having dark skin around my eyes. I have really dark under eye circles and I usually just put a ton of color corrector and concealer to hide it. So it wasn't that big of an issue for me but just so that you know it can happen. Adding to that, I've also read online that some people say it did change the color of their eyes, specifically with people who have lighter eyes and blue eyes, that it made their eye color a little bit darker. Now that did not happen to me, but just know that that's something to consider if you do want to buy this product. The next thing that did happen to me was that I noticed peach fuzz growing underneath my eyes like right here which was really weird and I didn't understand why that was happening for the longest time but now I figured it out. So you have to wait at least two minutes before applying on any eye cream so that the serum will dry. I think I didn't wait long enough so it was still wet and then I would put on eye cream smearing the product around. So now I wait at least five minutes so that it can dry and after I've been waiting five minutes I find that I don't get that problem anymore. But a quick fix would be buying these razors on Amazon. These were really cheap and I think they come in a pack of three and you can just take off the peach fuzz just like so. You have to be really careful though because this is really sharp and the skin around your eyes are very delicate and thin so just be careful when you are using these razors. The last side effect that I experienced was an eye sty, and it wasn't that bad, I promise. I know it sounds really bad, but it was barely noticeable, and I only happened in one eye and not the other. So I think it was because I was just getting used to the ingredients in the serum. I know that people have said their eyes would irritate when they first started using it, so now that my eyes have gotten used to the ingredients and the serum, it doesn't happen anymore. But when I did have it, I would just take these q-tips, a clean q-tip, run it under warm water and kind of run it along the water line of where the sty was at and that really did help open up the pores and help with the irritation and discomfort. So those were the side effects that I experienced. Some people may experience different things. Overall, there weren't deal breakers for me and I think the pros outweigh the cons. So I would definitely keep using this product. I'm curious to try out other brands like Rovada Lash. I've heard a lot of great things about that brand, but honestly, I opted for a Grande Lash because it was a little bit cheaper. Rovada Lash is almost like $100 a tube. So maybe I'll try that in the future, but for now, I'm really happy with Grande Lash. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be the end of my review. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you're looking to buy this product, I would say go for it. I would 100% recommend this to to anyone who's looking to grow their natural lashes. If you're already using this product, let me know how you like it. And if you have any questions at all, leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. All right, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.